What's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guardians of all ages, Joker back again once again and today, today we're gonna have a bit of a ramble, a bit of off the cuff discussion about why Bungie has chose to not have the Xbox One Scorpio version of Destiny be 4K, 60 frames per second, all of that awesome nonsense. So, why is that? Well, we need to go in with a caveat. We need to go in with the assumption that the game can run that way on the system. We don't know that it can or if it can't, right? We assume that, well, because this is a $500 upgrade, that the system can innately handle it. Well, we don't know that. So, we're gonna assume that it can, and that Bungie, for whatever reason, has decided not to do it. The first reason that it tends to come to people's mind is something nefarious going on with Sony. But, really, at the end of the day, can we say that that's the actual case? Well, I mean, Microsoft and Sony are vicious competitors. They don't like one another, as far as sales go. And uh, they always kind of like to throw shade at one another. Now, Phil Spencer tends to, like, try to reach out towards Sony and be like, Hey, guys, come over and, like, let's, uh, let's system link our networks. Let's, uh, let's come together and have cross-play. They tried to do that with Minecraft, and Sony said, Nope, we're not doing it. So, could it be Sony? I mean, are they that petty? Do they care about a couple frame rates? Maybe. But, um, I mean, I would think that the exclusive content that Sony has cleaved out of the game and set aside for themselves would be a way better selling point than a couple frames, right? Especially when you compare it to the PC, where I can just go on the PC, right? I have a PC that'll run it. I know I have a PC that'll run it at unlimited, full 4K textures, all that nonsense. And, uh, you know, I can just play it there, right? If I really fucking cared about this shit, I could just go and buy it on PC, right? If I really, really, at the end of the day, gave so much of a shit, I could just go play it on PC. That said, I don't think it's Sony, right? I mean, Sony has kind of come out as a little bit of a douchebag, especially with the Minecraft thing. But uh, I don't think it's Sony. I don't want to, like, assume that Sony is that petty. I want to actually place the blame on Microsoft's shoulders. Here's why. So, Microsoft has kind of shot themselves in the foot when it comes to the Super Special Awesome Deluxe Scorpio edition of the Xbox. They have decided that it's all going to be one family. That means if I buy an Xbox One game, it's going to be a Scorpio game, and vice versa. So, what does that mean, ultimately? Well, it means that they're not going to make Scorpio-exclusive content, right? The only Scorpio-exclusive stuff is going to be the up res and texture, the better frame rates, the better working functionality, all that nonsense, better load times. It's essentially a better Xbox. It's like an Xbox Pro, right? Only way better. So, why would they do that? Like, why not make this another console generation? Well, I think they had that huge backlash with um, backwards compatibility, and I think that they just want Xbox One to be the brand. I think we're going to see iterations of Xbox One going forward, kind of like in the same vein as Scorpio. I don't think we're going to see a next-gen Xbox, ever. I think we can have a PlayStation 5. And we're still gonna get we're gonna get Xbox One X One, right? We're gonna get Xbox One X Two, and they're never gonna say that it's a new console generation. It'll still play with all your old shit. It'll still be compatible with the entire Xbox One family. But I think it'll just be more powerful, more powerful, more powerful, more powerful going forward because they're gonna have to do that to keep up with Sony and the games being made by third party for Sony. Right, so I really think Microsoft is getting way too far behind the curve on this one, even though their system is the most, most powerful, because now they're kind of dependent on what Sony does as far as the generational gap. They can't go in and go, well, we're going to make the new generation. They're kind of fucked, right? So I think they've kind of shoehorned themselves into a bad position there. And then with the fact that it's got to run on Xbox One systems, well, eventually you're going to get to the point where developers do not want to develop for the Xbox One, right? So they're going to develop for specs for the Xbox One X or Xbox One X1 or X2 or X3 or X55. 
Um, so that's going to be a problem in the future if Microsoft tries to keep this as one family. The other problem is, and this is why I don't think Destiny is 60 frames per second on Xbox One Super Special Awesome Scorpio Edition, is because they share the same networking. So if I have an Xbox One X and my buddy has an Xbox One, we can join the same fire team and we will play in the same matchmaking. It does not make sense that I would have whatever advantage is gained by having 60 frames per second if I'm playing with people who are capped at 30, right? When you're on PC, that is still a huge thing. Like, there are a whole gambit of frame rates across PC. There's 30, there's 40, there's 60, there's 489 frames per second super special awesome mega graphics cards, right? I'm being facetious, but you get my point. So. That's a problem in PC, and the, the kind of viewpoint there is, well, deal with it, right? Like, if you don't want to put the money into having a machine that can run that, then uh, that's your problem, not mine. Where in Xbox, it's, you're going to have a majority of the player base down at 30 frames per second, locked at 30 frames. Why does it make sense to allow a small portion of people to go out and spend $500 and already have an advantage? But then again, at the end of the day, I mean, we're already kind of doing that, right? I went out and bought a Pro Controller because I like the way the Pro Controller works, right? I like the paddles on the back. I feel like it does give me somewhat of an advantage. I don't like hitting B, right? So I'll just hit B on the bottom of the controller, right? And now I'm sliding all over the place and I don't have to move my thumb off the stick. So that's an advantage, right? That's an innate advantage. That gives me a better advantage, a better way of moving over somebody who doesn't have it. Right? And that's why people buy scuff controllers. That's why people buy the Elite controllers. That's why people get other modded controllers that are on the market. That's why people go and buy these really shitty $30 mod packs that will give you paddles on the back of the controller. But they work to be desired. Let's just put it that way. They work like shit. Um, so that's why people do that. That's why people go out and buy the three $400 headsets so they can hear the faintest sound of a blade of grass twitching as it thinks the player model is moving towards it, right? So people always buy better gear, buy premium items to get the slightest of advantages, right? And I don't know if it's a placebo effect, I don't know if it actually gives an advantage, I don't know how much that advantage is or if it's calculatable based on skill and whatnot, but people are already doing that on consoles. They're always buying the latest, greatest thing to try to get that advantage. So I don't know why you wouldn't just allow people to go, hey, you know what, you wanna spend $500 on a console and play at 60 frames per second, where other people are playing at 30 frames, have at it, you know? But I can kinda of see where Bungie, who has changed a lot of the formula in Destiny 2 to be more PvP oriented, I've done a couple of videos on this already and I will be doing more. Um, I can see where Bungie wouldn't want to divide that community so drastically where you do have the majority of the community who are at 30 frames per second and then you have a minority who are at 60 frames per second and that 60 frame per second community has a huge distinct advantage over the 30 frames so i can see why bungie wouldn't want to do that if they really do care about the balance of the crucible so those are just my thoughts. I think, honestly, if you want to go out and spend the money, you should be able to do it, and you should get rewarded for doing it. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. And like always, stay frosty.